we have given you players to buy and sell, but uh, Combs, who who is going to be a sleeper pick for you this year and for the 2021 uh, Las Vegas Raiders? Yeah, so you know, I I would like to go with Kenyon Drake as a sleeper, but I can't really go with Kenyon Drake as a sleeper because I think you know he's a he's a number one running back last year. He can't really be too big of a sleeper. I'm gonna go with a wide receiver here. I'm gonna go with Willie Sneed. I think that Willie Sneed has been was a good uh, wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. I think that he was very undervalued in Baltimore, and I think that he's very undervalued now. I think that once he takes a few reps, I think he's going to have a breakout season. If there's an injury um, uh, for, with any of the Raiders wide receivers, I think Willie Sneed is going to be the guy that steps up. Look for Willie Sneed to have maybe you know 900 to 1,000 yards receiving this year. Wyatt. Well, I wanted to follow suit on that one. I, it was a toss-up for me between Willie Sneed as well as Henry Ruggs, and I ended up choosing Henry Ruggs because the guy has electric speed. Yeah. He is an incredible deep threat. You can put him anywhere on the field as a wide receiver. If you want him in a slot, he can do that. If you want him on the outside running just streaks, he can do that. If you need him running post, he can do that. Whatever you need from this guy, he can do. And a lot of people have essentially forgot about him ever since he didn't have the Big rookie year that everybody was expecting. You know, he kind of was under a little bit, but also he dealt he dealt with some quarterback health issues in Derek Carr. You know, Mariota got a couple of games in there, so they were kind of flipping around on that. But if he can get a stable quarterback situation, he is absolutely a sleeper for this offense. The guy runs a 4 2 4 40. It's lightning speed. That is 0.02 seconds behind. The record at four two two, which Sean Ross set, this, yeah. which is just unreal. I took Ruggs in the sixth round Numbers. of my keeper league. I think he's going to have a pretty big year this year. I'm yeah, expecting. I like him too. At, at least nine hundred plus receiving yards. You know, this is. I don't even think this is the big big year. I think next year is really the pop year for him. But this year he kind of figures out what he needs to in the NFL, and next year is really where he just explodes. Yeah, and I'm going to be kind of piggybacking on what you guys said as well, but uh, I'm going to go with with that quarterback and Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr, like what Combs was saying, he is very undervalued. You know, he, he, he secret he not secretly he quietly has four thousand passing yards last season. He led the Raiders to an eight and eight record like last year, like like as well, second in that uh, AFC West. So. If Derek Carr gets full support from the coaching staff and from the players around him, he could have a 4,500, 100-yard, 30-touchdown passing season, and he will still not be considered for like an MVP or anything to that effect. That's why I'm picking him as a sleeper, just because for some reason, guys, John Gruden does not like him, and I, and I don't know why. I mean, he consistently puts out great numbers year after year, year after year, and he's overlooked every year, and every year he has talked about being traded. Like, why do you think that is? Like, yeah. why do you think every year he